You know something, Alfred? I can't wait until that match takes place. Partner against partner, or former partner against former partner, Marty Jannetty and John Michaels, with Marty Jannetty with a whole lot of things to talk about and to repay. Well, he certainly took a thrashing as we saw that, going through the barber shop window all over again. And he must be reliving that in his mind because it practically put him out of the whole of the World Wrestling Federation for all time. But, uh, you know something? I still think that Sean has a great edge. Unfortunately, we're going to have a poem, Albert. You know the genius loves to hear the sound of his own voice. Reciting words I wrote myself. So let your heart rejoice and rapture in magnificence the way it ought to be. Behold the future champions, the Brothers Beverly. Now that was very good. He stole that from someone, Albert. <laughs> It had more than two lines that rhymed. <laughs> he obviously stole that from someone. I think he's become a bob at last. Beverly Brothers got a record they can be proud of, Albert. They have, but they may come on stock here against Bronzel and Powers. These two young men bring a lot of enthusiasm into the ring with them. They also bring a lot of skill, a lot of power, and there's certainly a lot of speed. It will be interesting to see how the Beverly Brothers try to deal effectively with these two. Side headlock now by Jumpin' Jim and uh, Bo got out of there. That is Bo, Albert. Right? That is Bo, yes. Got out of there in a hurry. And he's happy about the whole situation. That smile may come off his face pretty shortly. Well, this will be a test for the Beverly's, and a good test. It could be more than just a test. They're just a little bit apprehensive about linking up here. Nice go behind there by Bo, but... Lovely crunch a switch. Yes, it was very, very nicely done. Leapfrog, and look at this monkey flip. Oh, Reverse. Nice he caught him, and now an arm drive. What a series of moves by jumping Jim Brunzel. And pumps it all off with a nice arm ringer. Some really good moves put together there by Jim Brunzel, and that's the hallmark of a good wrestler when you can string three or four moves together and make them all effective. You know, I can think of one move offered that would make the Beverly's more effective. What is that? Get rid of their manager. <laughs> I don't know, he seems to have done them a lot of good. You think so? Well, he's maneuvered them into some good shots. I think he's a detriment, Albert. Well, I, I don't know how to answer you there because we haven't seen the Beverly Brothers without him yet. That could be the Beverly's downfall. First tag team action, always hot and heavy here to WWF. Reigning champions, Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, along with Erwin R. Scheister, Money Incorporated, and a hot on their trail, the Nasty Boys, as well as the Natural Disasters. Yes, but I don't see anybody beating Money Incorporated. Ted DiBiase, the perfect wrestler. Erwin R. Scheister, really a superb wrestler, a lot of strength, a lot of speed. They have great tag team tactics. They put all of these talents together and they come up right on top. They are deserving to be champions for a long, long time to come. Well, they certainly have a tremendous amount of technique. Yes, they do. And experience, which there is no substitute for. And I think the trouble with natural disasters is that they're thirsting for too much revenge. They want to get in there and absolutely crucify their opponents. And that's not the spirit to go into. You've got to go in there with a plan to win, somehow or other. You've got to get that game plan going and put it together effectively. Hey, let's not forget, your Lordship, about a team that's here at the WWF right now that I think is going to be very difficult to beat, referring to the head trickers. Yes, I've seen them. They are devastating. What a combination. Now, they certainly do have a mentor on the outside. Alpha, the manager of the Head Shrinkers, former co-holder of the WWF Tag Team Championship belts. Knows what it's all about. And he's not as crazy as he may look either. Although that's the person. Oh. 
He certainly does look crazy. I understand you had him over for Thanksgiving dinner. No, I didn't. Well, they had you for Thanksgiving they dinner. They could have almost been that, I can assure you. It surprised me. Summer and Fatu, two tremendous wrestlers. Very powerful, but very ruthless, too. Double clothesline, and a beauty. Hooks the leg, but not enough. You know, you have to have the Beverly's, especially a guy like Blake. And a lot more of a compromising position than that, you know, to get his reach. Absolutely. And it looks to me as if the Beverly's have been sort of traveling around here at three-quarter speed. Shortly, they're going to increase their tempo. And once they do that, it might spell curtains for... Oh, oh nice Caught in midair on the leapfrog and a power slam. And over quickly to make the tag the bow. That could be the beginning of the end right there, Albert. Yes, I think so. And here's that tempo increase that the Beverly's are so effective with, they suddenly step up the pace, and the opposition really pays for it. He's really shellacking uh, Powers right now. Jimmy Powers looking for that corner to find his partner, but uh, unable as he's being pounded around Get from up, neutral corner to the neutral corner. <laughs> Lower lumbar area taking the pounding here. And Bo, a little taunting and teasing there. And some words on the outside by Blake, obviously, to get his brother in to tag with him. Here comes double axe handle. Further damage being done to the back area. And now, setting him up here. Yes, and now the Beverly's look absolutely devastated. Oh, double clothesline, they both went down. Which one's in better shape right here? I believe that Jimmy Powers has taken too much punishment, Alfred, at this point. And that was rather a nasty fall he took there on the base of his spine. Oh, but he made the tag! Brunzel in! Fist cocked! Ready! Blocks the right hand, delivers one of his own! Look out! Backdrop and a beauty! Maybe we'll see one of those devastating drop kicks of Jumping Jim. Well, if he manages to get that devastating drop kick in, it could spell the finish here for the Beverly Brothers. And that wouldn't be a good thing for them. Oh, look at that. What a move. Brunzel on fire here. Here it comes. The beauty finds the mark. That He's going to get him. No. Well, that was a tremendous drop kick there. And if it hadn't been for that save by the other Beverly Brothers, that would have been cut. That drop kick found the mark, and right now it's bad trouble. Look at this from the backside, rolls him up, has the leverage and the momentum, and just like that, it's all over. Here's your picture word. Remember the fifth.